Okay, I ain't going to talk about something grim and something sad that is happening to these three orphans. So, if you do not want to hear about this, go look away, look away, and watch something else that's much more happy. If you do want to hear it, then stay and listen to me talk about Lemony Snicket's series of unfortunate events from Netflix. Okay, so this is the big guy. We're going to talk about the series of unfortunate events, the Mini Snicket series, that was on Netflix. And I know this has been on there for quite some time, and I'm just getting to it now because I've been trying to keep up with the theatrical releases. So this series is kind of like a remake on the movie, but it goes more in depth and is much more closer to the books, even though I've never read the books. I seem to get the feel like this is more closer to the books than the actual movie was that starred Jim Carrey. <laughs> so this series stars Neil Patrick Harris as Count Olaf, which that was awesome casting. I didn't realize it was Neil Patrick Harris until I read the opening credits that it was him because the makeup looks so darn good. <laughs> and you got Patrick Warburton playing the narrator, Lemony Snicket. The Bowler kids are played by a uh, Melina Weissman plays Violet. She is most known for being in, in the opening intro of Supergirl as young Carl Danvers, the little girl in that opening scene. Uh, Lewis Hines plays the brother Klaus, and the baby is played by Presley Smith, Sonny. Also, the, the person that does the voice of the baby is Tara Strong, the great voice actress. And some other actors in this. Colby Smoters and Will Arnett are both in this movie playing playing characters that I don't want to say who they are. Uh, Alfred Woodward plays Aunt Josephine. Um, Asif Mandivi plays Monty. And Catherine O'Hara plays Dr. G Georgina Orwell. And Usman Ali plays the hook guy, who's one of uh, Olaf's henchmen. Probably my favorite of the of Olaf's henchmen. <laughs> so basically, what happens in this series is the Baudelaire children, Violet, Klaus, and Sonny, lose their parents in a fire. They become orphans, and they're forced to live with this guy named Count Olaf, who treats them very badly. So they are trying to figure out ways to get away from him because he only wants to get at the fortune that they are going to get since the parents are dead. But the the orphans can't get their hands on the fortune legally according to the will until the oldest, Violet, is, is of age, until she becomes 18, and she's right now 14. Or unless she gets married. And that's when uh, Olaf gets this idea, well, oh, I'll marry her. But she's too young to get married. And he says, well, I'm the guardian. So if I say that yeah, she's okay to get married, according to the laws, then she's okay to get married. And he gets a judge to try to marry them. Played by John Cusack's sister, Joan Cusack, who doesn't realize that she's marrying them because she thinks it's a stage play. And that's pretty much the plot of the uh, first two episodes. and then. Later on, the further episodes, the kids find a way to get to other guardians like Aunt Josephine and Monty, but Olaf is following them dressed up in these disguises, and, and, and unfortunate events seem to happen in each episode along the way, which is hence the title, Series of Unfortunate Events. Nothing good seems to happen to these kids. <laughs> I really liked this series. I didn't really like the movies, mostly because of Jim Carrey's bad performance and just the whole movie it's in and of itself wasn't all that good, but the series is awesome. Leo Patrick Harris is great as Olaf. I love Patrick Warburton as Lemony Snicket. I like the three kids a lot, too. The henchmen 
are great too. Joan Cusack is awesome as well. Colby Smulders and Will Arnett are both great in the series, although I don't know if I totally like the fact that they're actually in the series. Their characters are here because of who their characters could be, which might be a bit of a spoiler. And Alfre Woodward is great in the two episodes that she gets. And uh, Asif Mandivi Monte is great as well. Uh, Dr. Georgina Orwell, played by Catherine O'Hara, she's also great. And let's get to other, other stuff I liked. Um, the theme song I like a lot, too, which is sang by Neil Patrick Harris. The, the theme song is called Look Away, Look Away, and it's just <laughs> such an awesome theme song. And it's different every two episodes, which is very cool. What I didn't like about this is the fact that the the characters played by Colby Smulders and Will Arnett seem to be helping the kids throughout almost each episode secretly, and you don't know exactly who these two are, really. And it almost takes away from the suspense of whether or not these kids are going to get through these these events well or not, because you you know that these two unknown characters are helping them along the way. But at the same time, these kids are helping themselves with their own talents. Uh, the baby has the superhuman strong teeth. <laughs> the and the two older kids are very smart in each in their own ways. Uh, that Violet is very smart inventor, and Klaus is very smart at other stuff and very quick at getting stuff when he reads. So I did like all three of these kids, and I wasn't too sure if I liked the fact that, that Colby Smarters and Will Arnett are helping them secretly along the way, and they don't know they're helping. The other thing I wasn't sure if I liked or didn't like is the fact that every time you see Olaf in, in a disguise, none of the adults can tell that it's Olaf. Only the Bolair or orphans can tell that it's Olaf in the disguise. Which That is kind of weird. I mean, how can you not tell that it's Olaf? I mean, it is so obvious every time. I think the only time you couldn't tell that it was Olaf is when he's dressed up like a woman in the last two episodes. The other times you could clearly tell it was Olaf. But other, aside from that, this is a very good series. I definitely think people should check this out, especially if you're a fan of the books and you've been wanting something to be a good adaptation of the books. This is definitely it. So I'm going to give this an A-. minus. And that's all I got to say for Lemony Snicket's series of unfortunate events. I can't wait to see what season two brings. Mm -hmm.